listen, I am all, all for non-white people being rich, okay, wholeheartedly. I'm all for people, absolutely non-white people, people that are already marginalized by the societies globally, being wealthy, living life to the fullest, okay. What I find very appalling is the fact that from sources online, I don't know how correct that is, this wedding cost them $360 million. And then I wonder where do we actually draw the line? Like when is wealth wealth and you're just, you know, you're just good, you're just financially very wealthy and you flaunt it. And when are you just being an insensitive asshole? Hmm? Um, and in the case of this two, the latter, the, the later, the second case is the case because why in the entire fuck would you spend and i get yeah i get people always come up with that it's not your money it's their money they can do as they wish blah, 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 blah. yeah sure that's why we are where we are because it's everybody's money and nobody's responsible for anything else and nobody has morals nobody gives a fuck about anybody but themselves that's why we are where we are okay yeah why the fuck do you need bill fucking gates at your wedding the kardashians at your wedding people that don't care for you, no give a flying fuck about you, your identity, your culture, your people, your country, your food, your anything at your wedding. Just because they are the Kardashians, just because this is Bill fucking Gates. Where do we draw the line of just plain stupidity and actually being wealthy and enjoying your money? Which there's nothing wrong with that, okay? There's nothing wrong with being wealthy if you are ethically wealthy. Hello? And just enjoying your money, you know? Everybody, babe, if you made it, you know, flaunt it. Flaunt it, rub it in our faces, you deserve it. But holding a wedding of 360 million US dollars while they are literal people starving in your eyesight. They are not starving all across the world. They are starving literally behind your backyard, okay? And that takes a lot of inhumanity. That takes a lot of lack of empathy, a lack of, I don't fucking know, being a fucking human being. Because only people that are absolutely fucking literally heartless can celebrate a wedding of 360 million US dollars while they are literal children starving to death. By the way, where there are multiple genocides going on across the world at the same fucking time. But hey, it's their money, right? It's their money. That's why, like I said, we are where we are. Because everybody just looks after themselves and their families. I'm not going to lie. I will do the same thing. I would absolutely make sure, first of all, that the people that are close to me are good. But do you know what? If I had 360 million US dollars to spend on a wedding, I certainly would never be this out of touch and out of reality that I will spend 360 million US dollars on a wedding ceremony, when I could have spent three million, I had still a memorable wedding with my beloved people, my family, people that actually care for me, people that actually are part of my life, not the fucking Kardashians, and use the remaining uh, 357 million US dollars to do things that actually make a difference in the world. But we live in times where humanity is non-existent. We see humans, but no humanity. That's why people think that this shit is okay. It's their money, right? Go fuck yourself. Also, by the way, for the it's not your money, it's their money, they can do whatever they want, people. You know that people like Bill Gates, like the Kardashians, like people that are millionaires, billionaires, whatever, billionaires, you know, you know that they don't get rich by hard work, right? You know that these people are not ethical millionaires, right? You know that there is nothing like an ethical billionaire in the first place. You know that these people have to accept, willingly accept, enable and support exploitation, child labor, slavery, colonialism, exploitation. I said that already. To be where they are. You know that, right? You know that these people are rich because they abused, they exploited people that are already literally at the bottom. You know that, right? So the phrase, it's their money, is technically wrong because it literally is not their money. They made that money, yeah, in their name, yeah, because they are 
the enablers and in many cases they are the active active exploiters of child labor of literally people that make like five fucking dollars a day kind of labor so that they can sell at higher wages that they can make as much gain as possible um that why why the fuck not why the fuck would you produce something for two dollars and sell it for thirty dollars when you could ethically make maybe just fifteen dollar profit and actually pay people their money no no because of inhumanity egoism and ignorance we are where we are because people accept all types of nonsense and the exploitation and slavery of literal human beings so they can be rich so even the whole it's their money is some capitalistic classic ass bullshit thank you